Alrighty, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be creating the water effect to our... In the last video, we created the no the waves, but now I'm actually going to be creating the depth to the water. And the way that I'm going to do this, and I'm actually going to use the... Uh, let's see, it should be... Yeah, you go to the output of that, and you can go to where it says shading model, and select this as the single layer of water material so to select that and right off the bat you automatically notice that you get a error with this and the reason for that is is these outputs that's within this is not enough for mm -hmm. this material so what I'm going to do is just go down and you will select uh, let's see single layer yeah, just type in single, it should pop up. Single layer water material output. So I'm just going to add it in there. And right here, you could see the scattering coefficient, absorption coefficient, phase G, and the, and the color scale behind the water. And pretty much what the bottom one right there does is it creates the, kind of like the caustics the, of the water, which is kind of like the reflection or the, uh, so like how you have the water on the top of it, you can kind of see the reflection or the lighting of the, like of it on the ground below it, and you can kind of add that effect to the water. And then you got the scattering coefficients, which is how the light reflects on it, and then the absorption coefficients, which is, which is kind of like the actual color of the water, which is kind of like the film of it, I guess you could call it. Um, but that right there is what we're going to be adding the color to on this video. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add in a constant 3 vector. And I'm actually going to go ahead and just convert it to a parameter so we can kind of change that within our instance. And I'm going to call this water film. Alrighty. Um, so, I'm going to just divide this. And that here is going to be the pretty much how light of a color this is. So what I'm going to do is just add a parameter. I'm going to call this one um, water film amount. All right, that should be good enough right there. And I'm going to do this right here the exact same way we did the last one, which is divide it by 100 because this is a small number and adding a small number is just a pain so I'm going to divide it divide that by probably well, let's say 100 alright and then just add it into the absorption and you can see that the error also went away because we actually plugged this in and you either gotta have one of these two right here um, you might be able to do it with one of the other ones. I don't know. Yeah, you gotta have at least one of these, either the scattering coefficients or the absorption coefficients to plug in. Alrighty. But yeah, and now you can go ahead and delete the color that you had in in it previously and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just uh, just add a constant vector or yeah a constant vector to it. I'm going to add three of them. One for the base color, one for the roughness and one for the opacity. Alright and for the roughness I'm going to add it as one And I'm going to add this color right here. I'm just going to just add a. So let's let's see. More of water is more of a green color than blue, unless you go out to the ocean. But for like fresh water is more of a greenish color. So I'm just going to put it as that for now, just to see what kind of effect we get. And 
it is black, but only because we have not actually put in a water film amount. So I'm going to just do. I'm going to do a hundred. See what happens. Probably do too much. Um, yes, it's too much. All right, so I'm going to do twenty-five. That might be good enough for now, maybe. But one thing you can also see is we actually have a green color into this, but this is not green. And the reason for this is if you look at the color we got, if you look exactly straight across from it, that is actually the color that we have. So it's more of a, like in this area than this one. And I'm not really sure what the logic behind that is or why it's like that, but it is. So one alternative that I found for this is actually, yeah, which is uh, the alternative that I found for it is to actually add a one minus node. And pretty much what this does is it just flips everything, any negative value it flips to a positive, any positive value it flips to a negative. So it just creates the complete opposite, pretty much. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and add this out of here. You can kind of actually tell the what what everything was doing when it was at 100. But yeah, you can see kind of like the green effect now. So I'm going to just apply this, and I'm going to go over to our material or the viewport and look and see what it's doing. All right, so check this. Yeah, you kind of. Just mess around with it, see what kind of value you get. See, I was way off. It should have been a lower number than a higher number. I'll bring it down like there. thing you can kind of see you can see that our waves are not appearing on it and the reason for that is is right here you actually have to create a refraction um, let me see if I can let's see if this will work create add a value into that and just name it at to the zero or one okay I will do one point three one point three Let's see if that works. Pro oh, it actually did. Okay, yeah, and that's the only reason why is because you gotta have a refraction input into it so you can see that it kind of creates the waves. And it's looking pretty good actually. Kind of adjust that, make it look a lot more like water. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good right there. So I'm just gonna leave it alone at that. But yeah, that's pretty much how you create the water effects to it. Kind of make it look like water anyways. So, I think that's gonna be all on this video. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. On oh, the next one, I will actually create the shoreline ripples. Kind of like along, for instance, like along this wall right here. It'll have like ripples coming off of it and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end it right here, and I will see y'all on the next one.